let it kick, let it kick. Uh, this one right here goes out to my homie with the drink. Nah, I mean, uh. He said, I write what I see. Right to make it right, don't like what I be. I'd like to make it like the sights on TV. Quite the great life, so nice and easy. Latinos Progresando was started in January of 1998. Uh, my name is Luis Gutierrez. I'm the executive director of Latinos Progresando. We run four major programs, legal immigration services program that helps people apply for benefits uh, um, through the immigration process. A theater group called Teatro Americano that uh, provides, uh, performs plays based on the immigration experience in Chicago, a uh, college-bound youth group that helps young people get into college and stay in college uh, and graduate, and then our advocacy work around immigration issues. So this idea came about, um, a client of ours for legal services came in and said he had a wall that all these gang members kept writing on and he got tired of painting over the gang graffiti. One of the things that we wanted to accomplish is really putting the story of the Latino culture on a wall, who we are today and how we represent ourselves, and that's why it's a fusion of traditional muralism with graffiti. In addition to that, we really wanted to get the community involved. So we, uh, by doing that, we reached out to Pro's Arts, and Pro's Arts works with a lot of young people in the area who do graffiti. And so we had a lot of their youth come across the street and fill in all of this muralism here. Pablo had a great idea by outlining the entire one half of the mural. And then we had just community people coming together and participating by taking paintbrushes and filling it in almost like a coloring book and so it was just an amazing project and that brought young people and adults together as one big family and that really was what we wanted to accomplish with this piece really telling our stories on a wall but also bringing our community together and, and highlighting the positive things that we add to Pilsen. The mural is a collaboration between Latinos Progresando and Pro's Art Studio, which um, I work for. My name is Lila Salgado. I'm a community and visual artist. This neighborhood's changing, and we, um, you know, the owner of the building also um, he wants something that expresses like what Latino pride is, and, um, and to give some, you know, give something like beautiful back, I guess, to the neighborhood. Uh, what made me want to come out today is uh, Edgar is a good friend of mine and uh, he's been to part of uh, some of the events that we've done so he asked me it's like hey you know we're doing this mural it's a community project and he was wondering if I can come out and you know spin some music you know to kind of motivate the crowd and you know get people that are passing by to just help out my name is Oscar Garcia I'm a DJ by night but during the day during the school year I am a program assistant for special education for, for me to be here today and be part of something that they're doing for the community and kind of have the music playing in the background where people are enjoying themselves and just not paying attention to what time it is or what's going on but just on the mural and just having the music to kind of carry them through the whole project well you know it makes things a lot easier because you're just focusing on on the music and the art. The goal is to just show the community what we could do. And if the community wants more of this, then through fundraising, through uh, get-togethers, through whatever it takes, whatever creative way we can bring people together to kind of talk about uh, the walls in our community and what they represent and what they could represent, whether we just want regular walls or we want to see a little bit of ourselves in our physical environment. The goal is to show the community that we could do that here. You know, that we could we could do that with our own buildings, with our own youth, with our own artists, you know, to kind of hopefully set an example for the communities that are dealing with that too. So my name is Pablo Serrano. I'm a community art educator slash public artist. So what I'm hoping will happen in this mural is that we'll connect those two dots so that we'll have this kind of traditional muralism, we'll have quote unquote traditional graffiti muralism, and then in the middle, a uh, hybrid fusion of both. You know, so that we can kind of just make very clear that they're the same energy, the same desire, people wanting to share something with the rest of the community, but that those two energies are connected. You know, and they should be connected going forward because it's a generational thing too. You know, we need to connect those two dots. You know, the wisdom of the older folk that have been here for a little bit and, and know the history with the energy and enthusiasm of the younger. People that are fearless, 
que les vale más, and they're, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, you know. So that's that that that, that that's an important thing. Mural went way beyond anything I expected. Uh, there were so many people that have come out to show support. So many people have come by who've talked about how beautiful it is. This was just an amazing experience. Just to think about how the community was reacted to this project was, it, it just was beyond anything that I had ever thought it would be. I knew that people would be excited about it. I thought that people would want to get involved. But the way in which it unveiled and how many people came together to work on it, how many uh, people from different organizations came together to work on it, how many folks that were just community residents walking by wanted to be a part of it. People are donating walls to us now. People are asking how to get more involved in their community now. It's been an amazing process and it just goes to show you that when you give something positive to your community, your community responds.